Do you feel that social media is harmful to marriages? Double tapping on a photo is cheating. Again, that wouldn't be social media's fault. That's you. I'm Natasha and I'm Tristan. Welcome back to our channel living the grand life today is Monday So what does that mean? You know what that means? It is my yo marriage Monday. Monday So listen if you know us you know that this is the week the day you've been waiting for, mm -hmm. for The whole week long you've been waiting on this day Yeah, if this is your first time mind your marriage Monday is a segment that Natasha and I do every single week where we take just 10 minutes That's it out of our day yeah. to mind your marriage okay? That's all we got. That's all we got. So typically one of us will bring a topic and the other one has never heard it before mm -hmm. and we will discuss that topic for just 10 minutes yeah. today Tasha has a topic and I got things to do. So we're doing this a little bit different than all of our other videos. Yeah. And I'm gonna be multitasking. Okay. Yeah. Tris gonna cook while we discuss today's Mind Your Marriage Monday. So this is a real family situation. If you <laughs> if you are new to the channel, you are family. So welcome. Welcome. Go ahead. And you may as well go ahead and subscribe because you're gonna mm -hmm. love it here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so, just that simple. Topics on me. Uh let's get it popping. All right, while you do that, I'm gonna wash my hands and get started. Okay, that's cool. Go ahead, wash your hands. Well, I'm gonna switch things up today and do a little bit different. Normally, as you all know, we bring a scenario. Today, I wanna discuss a topic. Today's My Your Marriage topic is gonna be, do you feel that social media is harmful to marriages? And if so, or if not, why or why not? And we'll talk about some potential reasons why it could or couldn't be harmful to marriages. Are we talking social media just in general? Or is there a specific aspect of social media? There's, we'll talk about it like as a whole, holistically mm -hmm. and you know, different elements of it. But holistically, do you feel like social media is harmful to marriage? Matter of fact, I'm gonna pop me a, a seat over here. Okay. Cause I, I don't, I do things in the kitchen but Tristan is the main one that does it, so I just gotta bring my company. And when she tells me to <laughs> grab stuff, for moral support. she tells me to grab stuff and do stuff. I do it. I don't think any one thing is inherently harmful to marriage, except okay. like you know dishonesty, right? Like, okay. so I suppose that if you are being dishonest about your actions on social media, then yeah, it's harmful to marriage. But I think that inherently social media isn't just automatically harmful to marriage. I think that a lot of people and the amount of time, effort, energy they put into social media can be a detriment to their marriage. But that's not social media's fault. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like social media is just a thing, right? My wife doesn't eat meat, y'all, so I'm making, nah. what am I making today? You're making uh, crunch wraps. Yes, homemade crunch wraps. <laughs> and my wife does not eat meat, so we have to make ours with plant-based chorizo. chorizo, which we found which one year. Which is good as hell. We found one year while we were fasting and neither one of us could eat meat. Yeah. And we've just been hooked on it ever since. So we use the Morning Star. Yeah. The Morning Star um, veggie chorizo crumbles. Fire. I feel like social media can go either way. It really depends on the couple. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of couples I've learned, they have very different definitions of what they consider cheating. And a lot of people have some very, very, very um, sensitive, I would say maybe outlooks on what cheating looks like. And, you know, it's usually for most people based on past experience or how they were raised and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I guess it just really depends because there are people who believe that double tapping on a photo is cheating commenting 
not anything that's you know absurd of seeing and anything like that let me let me back away a little bit because these are onions and um mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't want that problem i'm gonna come to y'all a little closer hold on hold on and i'm back but I'm not fooling with no onion. Yeah, no, some people, you know, if you comment under a picture, it's considered cheating for some people. And the thing is, the comments aren't private. They're for everyone to see. You know, granted, can someone comment and be disrespectful? Absolutely, but I'm, I'm talking about people who aren't necessarily commenting things that I would think were disrespectful, but for some people they are. Mm -hmm. um, like putting hard eyes or saying, you know, you look really nice today or that's a nice outfit or something like that. Like, that. I mean, I think, like I said, I don't think inherently the action is harmful to marriage. I guess what, what's, what's harmful to one marriage may not be harmful to the next marriage. Exactly. But if we're talking about marriage in general, I think that not having clear expectations of appropriate behavior within your marriage is harmful to marriage. Again, right. it's not social media's fault if y'all don't have a clear understanding of what one, what the what the two of you think is appropriate interactions with other people on social media. That's not social media's fault. It's not social media's fault, but we're talking about, you know, of course, in the it can it be harmful to marriage, which obviously relates to the people. I think that it's an added discussion that has to happen uh, in relationships now because People do, I think, I believe, discuss what they consider okay and not okay within their relationship. But typically those conversations are like what you do in person, mm -hmm. how you conduct yourself in public. Social media though is such a vital part of our lives now for most people that it's like that conversation needs to be had also as to what would be considered inappropriate or cheating online. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I agree with that. Instantly. I know that there are people that feel like social media is an avenue for infidelity. This is another avenue. I mean, there's other avenues, but it seems like it's a hot topic. All of that is, is human control though. I mean, everything is an avenue. Going to the grocery store is an avenue for infidelity if you if you a person who engages in infidelity. Yeah. Like a person who want to cheat, you can, I, I've seen women make their women and men make their significant others um you know get rid of their social media you know because of whatever whatever but the fact of the matter is you know honestly getting rid of social media just make it hard for you to track it yeah, you feel me that's true it just make it hard for you to track it it, it it just means that it got to happen in person yeah it just mean that like this it's not the social media it's the human the human is the issue social media ain't got nothing to do with that um, you know, it's not gonna make people cheat and it's gonna it's not gonna prevent people from cheating. It's not gonna make people spend quality time. People gonna do what they wanna do. Mm -hmm. And that's just that on that. That's my thoughts on it. Okay, you know there's people that stay away from certain environments. And again, this is the person's decision, but because social media seems to be so like prevalent in just mm -hmm. natural lives now and on mm -hmm. your devices people stay away from certain environments strip mm -hmm. clubs and different places mm -hmm. like that but when they get online that's what you know depending on what their feed looks like their algorithm and again that's based on the person i know mm -hmm. but they're seeing that and so they're gaining interest in that they're spending more time looking at their phone sometimes than spending time with that person that they... one thing i know about so social media and about algorithms is algorithms are based on the things that you have right. already shown interest in right the things that you search the things that you do the things mm -hmm. that you show interest in the algorithm is only as smart as you right and so again that wouldn't be social media's fault that's you so if you see in a bunch of advertisements or a bunch of things that that seem inappropriate on your social media you might want to check your google searches mm -hmm. you might want to check the things you look it up on amazon the websites that you're going to things of that nature mm -hmm. because everything that you show interest in is mm -hmm. being recorded and then being advertised to you because they know that that's something interesting to you one thing that i did at one point in my life was i created new social media accounts and when i did that uh, I only followed like pages of in inspirational people, inspirational influencers and things of that nature. And as a result, my newsfeed only has inspirational quotes, motivational quotes, Bible verses, mm -hmm. um, you know, influencers that are talking about like now I've added like fashion and stuff of that nature. So sometimes there'll be like a controversy going on in the world. Natasha be like, did you hear about Yo, something such or whatever? Yeah, I and I'll be like, get up. I might even just stay up after that because when I tell y'all, this woman here never knows about anything going on in the world. Like, 
social or news wise or related to the earth like she knows nothing i have to fill her in on everything every real I thing don't know. every social media thing like i be like you said you said who beefing with who wait when did such and such die they died they've been gone seven days what? i'm on here i'm on here acting like stacy dash i can't believe he gone you feel me <laughs> and it's because i don't even see certain things yeah. because i was able to curate my own news feed mm -hmm. so social media for me looks different than social media for other people oh, these are facts. if all you follow is chefs and people with babies and you want to see their children or whatever then all you gonna see is pictures of cute and i don't know what's going on with the rest of that stuff because i don't follow shade room i don't follow yeah what uh i mean what's them other ones that's all i can think of right now <laughs> tmz but, uh, none of them i don't got none of it <laughs> hollywood and unlocked so, and so, yeah, I don't follow any of those, so I don't know what's going on. I don't even follow a lot of celebrities. I only follow celebrities. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I follow Beyonce because if you don't follow Beyonce, like, who are you? Um, but yeah, there's very few celebrities that I follow and everything. Uh -huh. Like, so I get to curate my own experience. So again, to answer your original question, I still have my original answer. And the answer is no, social media is not inherently it's always well the question is, is it can it be harmful no uh, to marriage can like, it because because if that's the case then nothing can be harmful to marriage every it's based on everybody at all times but there are elements for people and listen we can't ignore the fact that being on our phones is addicting being on social sites is addicting which is why some people that aren't seeking attention <laughs> get off of social media for a while they don't announce it to the world they just do it mm -hmm. and then they come back because they need to cleanse themselves of that addiction and of those things that they're seeing and etc. Yeah, they can change their algorithm and what they're seeing in their feed, but it's an addicting thing. So it's like, okay, because this thing is for a lot of people, not everybody, right? It's been indoctrinated into the world, their world. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you, how do you handle it? And in terms of figuring out how it can not be harmful to a relationship or to marriage, like, mm -hmm. How do you acknowledge those things and what do you do with them? Because even screen time is an issue. Yeah, it can be. There are, there are people that, you, again, because it's... I mean, it's let's just be so all addicting. the way personal with it. In our own personal marriage, mm -hmm. we have had to have discussions around like, I'm always on my phone. Yeah. I mean, I play game, a game on my phone and I'm yeah so ridiculously addicted to it that I'm in like the 3000s on the levels in my game. Yeah. And I don't see myself stopping no time soon. Um, <laughs> we've had to have conversations around, yo, babe, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to you every time I'm trying to talk to you. You got your face in the game. You like, huh? You know what I mean? You're not paying attention, whatever, mm -hmm. what have you. Yeah. And if I am not mindful and I don't take heed to what my wife is saying to me right. and then make a, a, an asserted effort to address the behavior that she has told me mm -hmm. is, is, is giving her pause then that's on me. Is it the game's fault? Are games detrimental to marriages? Sure, if the human that's playing it is letting it get in the way of everything else. Yes. <laughs> the way you say this is funny. Is, re is, 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 is religion detrimental to marriage? It can be in some instances. Some people yeah. try to use Jesus as they scapegoat for everything and Jesus didn't condone all of that. It, you know, everything can be. I feel like sometimes loving another person too much can be detrimental to your marriage. Right. Love, anything done in, in, in abundance or too much can be detrimental to anything. But there are, what I will say is there are harmful aspects uh, of social media. Because ultimately for anything, the person is the common denominator and their actions. But can there be elements that's harmful? Yeah, but again, you're in control of most of that. Mm -hmm. right. So, but it is a thing. It's a big topic that a lot of couples have issues over or situations. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, I agree. But yeah, I just wanted to switch it up today. What are y'all's thoughts uh, on today's topic in terms of? Hold on, I'm gonna wait till Tristan stop pushing me out the screen. She don't want to. <laughs> she don't want to eat. So pushing, pushing me out the screen. So yeah, girl, I'm trying to cook. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm harassing her. I don't care. Is is somebody is being in life. the kitchen? This is her while life. you cooking detrimental to marriage? And I say yes. This is her life. The answer is yes. Too many people in the kitchen while while a person is trying to prepare a meal is is detrimental to marriage. Ask me if I care. I don't care. It's also very detrimental to your ability to eat. No, I'm gonna eat. Listen though. <laughs> Again, if you are new to the channel, welcome. We definitely took a different spin on today's Mind Your Marriage Monday. Um, we for sure at the end of this video will throw up some traditional Mind Your Marriage Monday so you can see what a typical Mind Your Marriage Monday looks like. Do you all think social media is bad for marriage? Right. Is it detrimental? Is yeah. it harmful to I marriage? don't think it is. I just, I also like to play devil's advocate a lot with Tristan uh, to get her to talk about different things and kind of see where she at. She just stuff. like to push my buttons. It's fine. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's part of marriage and whatnot. <laughs> See, I'm ready. Eh, be ready. Whatever. I need y'all to let us know in the comments. Like I said, what do you all think about today's topic? Mm -hmm. uh, did you like this content? Do you want to see more like this? Do you want to see us up and doing other things more while we're doing My Your Marriage Monday? Or yeah. would you rather have us completely focused mm -hmm. in front of the camera to make sure that these discussions are fruitful? Um, let us know in the comments. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. If you didn't follow the instructions when I asked you to in the beginning, and this is your first time watching, go ahead and subscribe now. Uh huh. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when your new friends of the Grants post some new content. Make sure you guys follow us on social media. We love interacting with you and seeing you guys follow us. So we love you and uh, we'll holler at you in the next video. Bye. Peace.